Okay, so what I'm going to do is quickly show you how to use Sunflower. After you've installed it, you'll restart the computer, and that's all pretty self-explanatory. So you just hit on the, click on the package here, and then run through all the steps. It'll look something like this. Continue, continue, continue. Agree. I'm not going to do it right now just because I've, I've already installed it. Uh, and then it'll ask you to restart. You'll hit yes. Your computer will quickly restart. Now the next thing that I want you to do is, is open audio MIDI setup, which the best way to do it is probably just start typing in audio right there. And then you can just hit enter and that'll, that'll open up. If I can get that to open real quick. Okay, so here it is. Um, now, I'll also open System Preferences to show you this. If you go to Sound, you're going to want to be on the Sound Flower, but the problem with that is you won't be able to hear what people are saying through your headphones or through your speakers. So you're going to create a multi-output device, is which, uh, what I'm currently using right now. Now when you make one, you come into the your audio MIDI setup and then you just hit plus right here and you say create multi output device. Okay? I'm going to remove this currently because I already have one and it'll just show you this and you click on the two things you want. Uh I've already tried downloading or Recording audio in two-channel is just fine, so check Soundflower two-channel and built-in output. So now you'll be able to hear the conference call as well as this program will be able to hear it. Now um, you can close out of that, and then you want to come back to your sound, which is in your system preferences, just right here. And then you want to choose multi-output device. That's done. You can leave it like that and you won't have any problems. Next, you want to open QuickTime. I already have mine open. That's right in Applications. And then you hit File. I move this out of the way. And then you do New Audio Recording. Now currently I don't have anything playing in the background. But if I were to go into, let's say, Chrome, uh, or even simpler if I just opened iTunes. And I just hit play on some Adele. You'll see this. And this just means that there's sound coming out. So if your conference call is on and you're about to start recording, you'll know that it's ready. And all you literally have to do is just click on this record button. And you can let that run in the background while your conference call is going and you'll be all set.